terms, comments, and stories you're about to hear may not be suitable for some. Listener discretion advised. All right now, boys and girls, we want to introduce... Please allow me to adjust my pants. Run as fast as you can. I'm gonna give you what you need. Get ready for BAM Radio. Let me do it one more time. It's Radio BAM, fucking idiot. What the hell am I talking about? It's Radio BAM! And now, and now here's BAM. Here's BAM! What's up, ladies and gentlemen? This is a episode live in New York City with a crowd. It wasn't we I mean, New York City. I have Don Vito with me, and I have the dream seller here with his pants off, and I'm the not fucking putting them back on. <laughs> and 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 I shaved his hair for a lousy five hundred dollars. It's bald on the top, but. The, the Ilhan looks so bad. He has, a comb, go for he has a comb over right now. I either, so I, I either look uh, like a fucking 90 year old person. No, you're not a goddamn role model. Or uh, what the a fuck cancer is, uh, patient. Vito, shut the fuck up. Oh, shut the fuck up, you Fuck, 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 you say fuck up. Vito. Vito's hell right now. Vito, what, what was uh, what was Phil gonna name me when I was born? But but Abe wouldn't let Jesse, would let him. Jesse's the first one. Elvis, you were supposed to be. Elvis, no, I was Elvis. supposed to, I was supposed to be named Elvis, and no, my mom Elvis. wouldn't let me do that. What do you think of that? Viva la Elvis, it would have been called. I think you'd be Viva your way to fucking welfare with that one. No. <laughs> Novak is bald on the top of his head, and and he looks. He has a comb over. It's so bad. He actually got pussy the other night. <laughs> he took a girl. <laughs> Look, life partner here bets me a hundred bucks. I couldn't get laid that night with her, right? She's a retarded girl. Game the, the fuck out to her house. I'm banging the bitch out of her which way but Sunday, right? And fucking, um, I think about it ten minutes later. I'm eating the fucking broad out. What do you think she was thinking when she looked down at my fucking head between her legs? <laughs> Just thinks her like it's fucking hell. Well, no, you had a, you had a wool hat on the whole time. Yeah, yeah, she didn't yeah, know. I was completely nude, but a wool hat. So, so like, he took it off because it was too hot in there. Yeah, I was just over it. But now this haircut really fucking lowered my self esteem, man. Like I like to kick game to bitches, but now I'm just kind of like, God damn, I fucked up. <laughs> a stupid drunken bar agreement led to me just hating life. You're so, the uh, stupidest motherfucker I've ever seen. What the fuck? Out of my God, 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 God damn place. The bitch wants me thrown down a goddamn brandy wine right now. You fucking where's she at? There's, there's holes in this story. There's, ho there's holes in this story. We want to know more. I forget where were we at with that one. <laughs> well, the bitch put a hole in the wall. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I get these fucking broads, man. I, I don't. I mean, I guess I attract my kind, which is hell. So, um, they always end up doing this weird ass fucking shit. Like, uh, I brought a broad home. She threw up all over the house. So I had to clean it up. <laughs> I bring a broad home. She locks herself in the bathroom, and passes on the floor. I'm not sure if she's dead or alive. This bitch. I'm in mid fuck, mid pump, right? All of a sudden, fist right to the fucking wall, man. Now I gotta pay for that bullshit. No bitch would fuck you in a goddamn thing. You know what's sick? His veto is fat and fucking disgusting, but because he's on TV, he's fucking hot shits, man. I don't get that. He does Holy these press. Shut up. Playboy Channel. Holy Shut up. Up. Vito does these, these breast sightings at like college areas. And uh, the girls get all drunk, and they actually go to bed with this sick, disgusting slob. What do their mothers think, man? If their mothers could only see it, it wasn't me. Moment. Nobody sucked my toe. The girls were sucking. Oh, oh, what the Vito. fuck are you? Yo, Vito's out of his mind. How many beers did you drink? Uh, uh, okay, look, everybody, uh, fucking life partner here got a new tattoo yesterday. I think you should Pistachio. show it. Pistachio. Pistachio. Hey. Ape is pissed at me. Check it out, guys. First time exclusive look. First to see her, right? He's not fucking a mother's right. boy no more. His mother said, do not do it. Oh, he's fucking boy. He he's fucking out of control. April said, do not do it. She would do anything. He does not love Vito, his mother no more. Are you more. speaking English? Shut up. Yes. Your mother said, do not do it. You're not a mama's boy official. Abe's going to hear this shit. Yeah, the fuck fuck you, so, so here's my tattoo. It's a tattoo of Don Vito's fat, ugly fucking face because I put a wrecking ball through his house 
and he was so fed up that I wrecked his bay window that he stole my Hummer and he just went. Where did you go? He went, he went to upstate New York to not be in the episodes anymore. He really was high now. So it, a run. month went by, so I had to get a tattoo of Vito in spirit to come back. And then he wrecked my Hummer. He, he drove it off a 400 foot quarry cliff. What a fucking waste of $25,000. <laughs> <laughs> the Hummer is done. You did it, you fucking idiot. Where's the poker? What the fuck up? I told you that. This is for you, I'm Owen. I told you that. God damn, Vito. Now, one of you single, man. <laughs> wow. Vito, have you ever Wait, had a serious girl? Okay, well, take it and fucking have your head fucking shaved the fuck off. You ain't right in the head either. Vito, let me hear something about one of your relationships. Tell me about it. Yeah, did you ever have a serious girlfriend? Did Vito? you ever love a fucking ever? girl? Come on, Vito. Did you ever have a girlfriend? Come on. Did you ever buy a bitch cards and shit? I had three nice girls. You had three nice girls. What that were their names true. then? Quick, don't oh, think about it. it. Joe, your, he's lying. Your mother's best friend. He's lying. He's thinking about it. Yo, uh, he did so date my mom's best friend. They worked at a hair salon together. She she did it. Work. Oh, no. <laughs> Shut up. And she actually I said... When your mom's fucking nightgowns, you had to wash it before you, before you were even fucking born. You went to four years the hole. <laughs> yeah. She actually said, Joanne goes, it's my mom's best friend. She goes, Vito, you have to make a decision. Do you want... To have me, or do you want to drink beer with you and your buddies? Just want to drink beer with me and my buddies. So she was like, that was the end. The wedding's off! Beer, I don't think that wedding was ever on, man. No, your friend, it wasn't me. We brought Vito here today. Why the fuck are you sitting there naked? And he is hell on earth. He's ready to fucking kill this motherfucker. I French kissed him earlier, and he punched you right in the mouth with his little studded ring and shit. Why'd you do that? That was unnecessary. Hulk Hogan fucking broke my guy. Oh, yeah, Hulk Hogan just beat his ass about two hours ago, literally. Hey, Vito. Try not to say fuck anymore, because it's every other word. Fuck your name! Fuck up! Fuck, 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 fuck your mother! Fuck everybody! Holy God! All right, so I just go on TRL, and Vito's out there selling lemonade to all these kids, and Hawk Hogan comes walking by, so I have him kick Vito's ass because he wrecked my Hummer. There's holes in that fucking story. There's not holes in that story. You fucking remember. Whenever he looks bad, there's a hole in the story. Next season, they're the best season. Oh, I'm gonna fuck me with a baby. What the fuck, Abu Dhabi? Fuck Pitcher. Fuck every fucking money. Oh, yeah. Hey, uh, we have a uh, goddamn he, audience here. Dude, Bam's ready to die. Like, I think this is the last season because I think I'm killing the motherfucker. Are, are you gonna star in the next movie, The Dream Seller? Fuck no. No, because you don't like me. You're no supposed more. to be a drug dealer in it. Ah! Show no goddamn drugs. <laughs> hey, let's tell a story about how Vito fucking went to jail. Yeah, you went to jail, didn't you? When I was when I was eight. What'd you do, Vito? One weekend, my, my girlfriend had a bunch of fucking meth and speak pot. louder. She had meth and pot. The fucking cops came. They were gonna try to blame me. It wasn't me. I wasn't me. So I did. Uh, the cop got busted. Try to tell the story because I can't even understand them. Apparently, Vito uh, got busted. It wasn't me. It was a setup. Well, you were selling meth when I was eight years old. I remember. Vito used to be an ex meth dealer. Said, you have an abortion. But it Did wasn't you make good money? It wasn't me. I fucking told Vito, uh, Vito uh, whisper. Pistachio. It wasn't me. Pistachio is so good. Oh my God, you are so hammered. I'm playing a song. No more beers for Vito. No more beer for you. I'm playing the beat what stage for Germany. This what song is called, I don't care as long as you sing it. Oh, what the fuck? Band I got the worst for the Vito. Shut the fuck up. Oh, what the fuck? Oh my God. You're hell, Vito, seriously. Lock in. Turn off the hi-fi. Holy Lord, I got to strap yourselves in and lace up those shoes. Because you're listening to Radio Band. I'm serious, 28, Faction. Faction, baby. Oh, my God. <laughs> Now back to Radio Bell. Uh, wow, wow, Vito is such a piece of work right now. He just choked me. You have the sickest fingernails. Look how long they are. Vito. Vito does not need any more beer. No, I, I wouldn't give him any more. One last one. What? That's what every alcoholic says. One last one. <laughs> That's what every alcoholic says, Vito. Vito, we should probably take you to a meeting after this. Try to whisper from now. Would you? I ain't got no horn today. I ain't got no beer on today on my fucking you gotta talk in the microphone, Vito. No heroin today is what you have. So why don't we tell the story about Chicago? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, they, uh, by the way, this is the first radio show we did in public, so it's really cool. We really appreciate this. But, anyways, we fucking had this plan. Jamie from Chicago. the real world. Yo, Jamie. Oh, yo, Jamie from the real world. And uh, I'm gonna kill Vito. It was fucking really big deal. It was advertised. A long time waiting. We're supposed to go. 
and we um, shut the fuck up back then. And um, and uh, we uh, missed the f we don't miss the flight. I don't know if you guys listen to the no, show, but about shut the fuck up. Rick, who's the manager of Element Skateboards, tells me it's fucking that Northwest. Fuck. So I go to Northwest, I wait in the line, they tell me that there's no direct flights to Chicago, so I go, they're like, you're not on Northwest. So I figure out I'm on US Air, I barely make it to the flight, and I get there, and the flight is still there. They go, we gave your seats away, because I was late. I'm like, obviously I'm not that late, because the fucking flight is right there, so let They're me still get boarding. Off. So they put me on standby on a 12 o'clock flight. They put me on a 12 o'clock. There's 20,000 kids waiting for me to do a demo in Chicago, and I have serious radio waiting for me there. Tom, where's Tom? Tom's right here. Yeah. yeah. Tom is pissed at us. Tell me, tell me what it was like in fucking Chicago. No, I got off the plane at like 7:45 in the morning and got to the uh, to the Zoomies like set up at like 9 a.m. And all of a sudden, it's like 12 noon, and they're like, "Yo, uh, we heard that Bam's not here yet." I'm like, shit, let me call, let me call, I called everybody, dude, I called Phil, April, Jess, everybody, they're like, dude, he didn't get on the plane, he's trying to get on another plane, and then it's like, he didn't get on that plane, and now he's, he doesn't have any tickets, so surprisingly, the chick from Zoomies was real cool about it, and Mike V, Mike Valelli, the dude held it down, man, he tore it up in Zoomies in Chicago, it was good, man. Mike. You know what's funny, though? The you know fucking Bruce millionaire Bruce. right here, oh, Bruce. the millionaire right here and I are in the airport, and neither was that fucking cell phone. We're on the payphone making collect goddamn calls. That's hell, you know? What is? It was making the collect calls at the airport. <laughs> and then never, we didn't even have a phone. This so phone was dead. I lost my fucking phone in New York, so. We're hanging in a payphone I'm, waiting I'm for incoming calls. I'm swiping my credit card through the payphone to call Kingman, and he wasn't answering like every other time. It was so annoying. I just, I just ended up going home. Kingman, go, yeah, Kimmy, stop fucking drinking beer all the goddamn time. I don't even get fucking no Zoomy tours. <laughs> Well, I got shit tossed in Chicago, so that's all good, dude. Yo, was there any hot broads there? What's the deal? A lot of hot broads. Were they ready to bang out? I, I stayed in like this ex really expensive tel hotel, the Congress Hotel. I just put myself up in a flashy hotel, went out and got drunk, took advantage. Of it's a day off. Sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it was my fault, though. You can blame Element. Blame King. I'm fucking right off. Fucking big ass fart. No, I was called this motherfucker. I don't know. Vito like says a sentence and throws the microphone away, and then he'll pull it back. Vito, you are a one piece of work right now. Usually I'm hell, but I feel pretty good right now because you're hell, hell. Are you coming to Finland with us in a week, Vito? We're gonna track down the Russian mail order bride that Rab married. We're gonna make an episode out of it. Are you coming? She said, "Fucking Finland! I don't know how she lives. She, you fucked her in the goddamn elevator. Rab before the wedding was even over." This is the best girlfriend ever, though. Vito, what the fuck did you just say? Say it, try to speak it clearly one time. Let me understand that once. Bam was the best man. He fucked the fucking bride on the what goddamn Las Vegas. But now he has the best girlfriend ever. Missy. Where's Missy at? Oh, Missy! Oh, Missy! Oh! Somebody oh, shut the oh, microphone. microphone. You're too shit. Oh, you got a nice girl. I'm playing a clutch song. Yeah, Clutch is here. Off their new yeah. album. It's called Mice and Gods, and this is Radio Bam Series 28 Facts. Yeah, Clutch. Get your hits on Bam Sack. That is so. Let, let, let me rephrase that. Grab onto Bam's Fun Bag. What are you talking about? Go to RadioFaction.com right now to register to win one of ten bags of Bam swag. That's RadioFaction.com. We've got random grab bags which could contain anything from a skate deck. A BAM hoodie. A signed element baseball cap. Electric eyewear sunglasses. Your BAM sack could have just about anything in it. Ew, that has got to belong to Brandon Novak. <laughs> Every BAM fun bag comes with the brand new Viva La Van CD. Autographed by BAM himself in a Radio BAM deal. Where the hell is I don't know. This contest ends soon. Go to RadioFaction.com right now. For your direct connection to the world of BAM. Damn, I can't believe you. You're sick of that. And now back to Radio Bam thing. On. How the fuck you say it? Is it serious? <laughs> On Serious 28. Faction. I got three tranquilizers. I'm done. They f the shot me with the fucking elephant darts. All right, let's see if you're going to say anything important. What are you going to say? Yeah, he's got the best girlfriend ever right now. Missy. Yo! 
Where the fuck's my <laughs> Suck on my dickers, my luck on my rest! <laughs> hey, Novak. Yeah, How about um, my mom being fed up with you because oh, you got Christ, some man. random girl pregnant the other day? I did. I had to take it out, right? I'm sleeping. Novak got a random girl pregnant. I'm sleeping in my bed at 11 in the morning, right? April comes in, shakes the shit out of me and wakes me up, right? She really, she really wanted to kick me out. The only reason why she did is because of you. I had a one night stand. Now the bra's going back pregnant, man. And like, I well, talked. You about said her. on the air that she was the ugliest bitch ever. She's a fucking ming hag. I really couldn't show her to my mother, honestly. But god damn, like, I'm in a fucking bind here, man. What, what, like, what the fuck do I do here? What, what, what's your advice to me on this? Just be a deadbeat dad, man. Deadbeat dad. I heard, I heard she moved to Connecticut. Well, I hear if you have ten fucking kids, it's impossible to pay child support. So I should get nine more, maybe. Get nine more girls pregnant. Let's work this out. <laughs> yeah, let's get prostitutes. Vito, order up some prostitutes. Pistachio, I ain't getting involved in this crazy shit. Vito, we need fucking <laughs> prostitutes and we need them now. Hey, how the fuck I get involved with this? I don't understand this. Well, if it's uh, fucking you know, Don't you have a show on the Playboy off, Mansion no, coming you're, you're up? Dead, you're dead. Are, are you able to talk yeah, about it? Yeah, I got the worst kid ever. Totally busted. Chocolate it's school. called Totally Busted. Totally Busted. Try to speak in English. Totally Busted is like And what is it about? Story. It's better than Viva La Band. What is it about? It's all naked, naked guy, naked fucking dodgeball, naked Don Vito, naked fucking pussy, naked pussy slide. Really? Yeah. Naked, naked. Who would want to see yeah. you get like a blowjob on the Playboy channel? It was fucking disgusting. Well, is that what the show is? They pay me three thousand dollars to do it. Oh, they probably need some money, but I'm, I'm taking it. Jeez. Oh, man, fuck, it's the best show ever. Totally busted. What these bras do to you? Did they like pour fucking chocolate syrup on your dick and shit? Yes. Tell us about it. Joey's a seven and a half Viagra. With fucking cocaine and Viagra mixed together, well, that's a good ass dick. He said, oh, it wasn't me. That's what the girls did? The girls were licking their pussy. You know, keep the fucking microphone in front of you. That girl, who's the fucking time? Take the fucking girl, I'm back in time. Like two girls are sucking my dick, one girl's licking her pussy, no girl's eating her pussy. One girl's in my fucking face, I don't know, fucking fuck, it's the worst and shit. That's, the, that's what the show is. Show. That's the, what your show totally is Totally busted. Totally busted it's on the Playboy than, channel. It's better than Viva La Bam, dude, I'm telling you. It's just, it's just, a, it's just a fucking 30 minute porno video of uh, sick you with your fucking out. skin tag. And hot ass bitches are. Plus I got extra fucking balls with my fucking extra skin hanging out. And my dick is hanging Vito, out. check this I out. Vito, listen. Pull the fucking microphone back in front of your fat face and listen. We have a serious radio to give away. Why don't you think of some contest or some shit? Vito, what would you want to see for somebody to win a serious radio right now? I need a fucking serious radio. I'm buying fucking broke. I need a guy to win my truck. I want to win a goddamn contest. Well, you can't. We have to give it to the crowd. Who the, what the, how do we fucking give it away? What do we do? Like, best fucking serious radio ever! Jeez. Say I'm fucking serious! You Novak, what do you want to see? We gotta make a contest up. I wanna see nothing. I wanna see your fucking tits right now. Yes. You show them, you get the radio. If she shows them, she gets them. Come here, come around here, come up here. Let everyone see. Come up here. Come on. Uh, Nah, she, all right, here she comes. Come on. You have to stand on this chair and show us, along with everyone, your chest. You can't tell them no pictures. There's a million cameras. Like, you're going to listen? Think realistically, babe. Nah, well, uh, I'm not going to small talk. Either do it or don't. Fuck it, I don't care. Oh. Let me get him over, too. have a serious radio. Do what the radio is. I'm running out. Three, two, one. One. That was a half ass attempt, but fuck should, yeah. Should we, cut, should we cut the radio in half and give her half of it? I, I, I'm kind of lost for words. Like, she's stingy titty over here. She probably has to do it again. Yeah, you have to stand on the chair and fucking do it, babe. Here. It's just is that Jamie? do it or don't. Who cares? No, Jamie, on the real wall. Keep your shirt. Jamie, no! What the 
<laughs> Fucking lame. But right, you get a radio anyways. Cheers to you. Uh, later. <laughs> Bro, why would I give a guy a radio? I don't want to suck your dick, man. You do Seriously. it if the price was right. Like, oh, uh, five grand on the table, I'll suck you off right now. <laughs> you laugh, I'm serious, my morals go cheap. Let's play the show out. Where the fuck are we Your morals got move. shot out the window. Yeah, I mean, coming from a dude who fucking... Play CJY! Oh, where the fuck if are you? If you guys don't know the dream seller, he was going to be a professional skateboarder. Tony Hawk signed him in the Pal Peralta when he was 14. And then being a Baltimore is the heroin capital of the world, he started doing heroin for 10 years straight. Now he's a piece of shit with a bald head. So I went from having loads of cash now to let like, dudes suck my dick for 40 bucks. <laughs> And I fucking love it. So I'll devote this song to you. I wouldn't have it any other way. This is CKY, their new album called Familiar Realm. No, CKY! Here's 28 Factions. Turn this shit up. Sweet for more. You can leave now. It's Radio Bam! Radio Bam every Monday, 7 Eastern, 4 Pacific. Email me now at Radio Bam. Why don't you uh, take a picture of your sweet white ass and send it on over to Radio Bam at Sirius-Radio.com. Call Radio Bam at 877-PORNBAG. That's 877-PORNBAG. Sweet dreams, Peapod. Bye, everybody. See you next week. On Sirius 28 Faction. Get your hands on Bam Sack. So. Let, let me rephrase that. Grab on to Bam's Fun Bag. What are you talking about? Go to RadioFaction.com right now to register to win one of ten bags of Bam swag. That's RadioFaction.com. We've got random grab bags which could contain anything from a skate deck, a Bam hoodie, a signed element baseball cap, electric eyewear sunglasses. Your Bam sack could have just about anything in it. Ew, that has got to belong to Brandon Nova. <laughs> Every BAM fun bag comes with the brand new Viva La BAM CD. Autographed by BAM himself and a Radio BAM CD. Where the hell is? I don't know. This contest ends soon. Go to RadioFaction.com right now for your direct connection to the world of BAM. Man, I can't believe you. You're sick in the head.